Hello, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, sorry I'm late, but, you know, uh, we're making our dinners now. <laughs> Although we were always making our dinners, but we're making more elaborate dinners. Although this one wasn't elaborate. It was a Mongolian stir-fry uh, with, like, rice and, like, a sauce and stuff. You know, it was basically, like, Chinese takeout or, like, takeout of some sort. Um, it was really good. Uh, it took a little longer. I had to chop up a lot of stuff. Um, and then Curly and I had to talk about some stuff, so it delayed some things. Um, but anyway, I'm here. How's everybody doing? Better late than never, I guess. Hello, Chelly. How are you? Thank you so much, Chelly. Uh, I'm sure Spud looks forward to my casts, but Spud, I'm sure, has a ranking system. And I know there's a few above me. <laughs> Love you too, though, Spud. Uh, hello, Pig. Hey, Volpez. How's everybody doing? Are we ready to do this? Uh, Curly and Bear are doing good. Bear's doing great. Bear actually walked the whole park today. He was up in Adam today, Curly was telling me. So he had some extra energy. So he did the whole park today. Usually only does half. Um, half twice a day. So he does the whole park, but half twice a day. <laughs> um, but he did the whole park at lunchtime today. So he's having a good day. I'm sure he had really good naps. <laughs> well, that's probably why they're above. I mean, that's one of the reasons they would be above. They're very rare, and you don't get to see them very often. I'm just, come on, I'm just normal. Like, it's like your everyday news. <laughs> just put me on in the background and, you know, go about your day. Uh, all right, let's do this. Uh, we don't need an introduction. Let's just play the game. We need to restore. So, what, a uh, couple things. Uh, I did watch a little bit of the last cast, and um, it seems to me we just missed something. Like, I, I'm guessing. We just missed something. We went to a bunch of areas. There was a lot of things to look at, so I'm sure we missed something. Um, so we can we have a lot of areas we can go back to. I also did find one thing. I have not looked at it. I don't play that way. But in case things get stupid crazy... They do have one of the old school hint books. Um, I'll put the link in there. I don't, you know, if you guys want to spoil it for yourself, feel free. Just don't spoil it for me. I got mods that'll take care of you for that. Um, but just in case, it's just in case. I just wanted to make sure, just in case we get lost. I don't want to run into another we found a game breaking bug thing again and spend like three casts on it. So I figure if we get really crazy, you know, maybe Pig or somebody or Spud or somebody will take a look at it and just make sure we're not like. In a game broken state, we just missed something. Um, all right, so we're gonna go back to where we left off, which is back at the station. Uh, where we got to last, we were back at the station. So we had visited the morgue. Uh, we had visited the shooting range uh, to practice for Wednesday, and we went to Hickman's house. Uh, and then the big area, we went back to the crime scene and walked all around uh, those buildings. We went to every place once. We probably just missed something. So let's just take a look at our inventory and see what we got. So we got the green card for Wednesday when we need it. That's our crime analysis. We have an apple for some random friggin' reason. Uh, we have our cash, our gun, yep, yep, change for the machine. We have the pills from Hickman's house. We probably have to check these into evidence and stuff. Uh, keys. Uh, we have that picture. We know what Gunner is, but we don't know what the number is. We have reports at our butts. Departmental follow-up form 3.14. I don't know why we have that. Uh, oh, that's our qualification thing. Yeah, we're well aware of that. And we have a baby Ruth bar. I'm just going to call it a baby Ruth bar because obviously that's what they're going for there. Uh, you won't look that Spud's department. Well, you know, somebody will. It doesn't matter. I'm sure if it's... I remember the old hint books because uh, I, uh, I got one back in the day. The way they did it back in the day... It was, now, this was in the 80s. It must have been for Police Quest 1 or it might have been for Leisure Suit Larry 1 that I got it for because you didn't have internet back then so you would buy this book or send away for it or call for it or whatever and they'd send it to you and it was this little book and it came with a highlighter and the answers it was always the way it was I don't know if this one is I again did not look at the link I'm not going to spoil the game for myself um, 
is it, it would have random questions. Like, it would be set up in the, the areas that you're at. And it would have random questions like, what am I supposed to do now? Or what am I supposed to do with the toilet? Or, you know, whatever's in the room or stuff. And then it would have two to three answers. Usually three, I think. And the first one would just give you a general clue. The second one would be a little more specific. And then the third one would just tell you what the hell to do. <laughs> and you would highlight them. So they were scrambled. You couldn't see them. And then you would uncover them by highlighting them. So you could just do one at a time. It was a really cool way to do it. Yeah, we got it on Wednesday. Yeah, today is Monday. We're still on Monday. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go back around, I think. Um, and check areas out. So we want to get the hell out of here. This hallway's weird. I don't know why that hallway's there. Why would that hallway be there? Like, that seems like a pointless screen. Why doesn't he just come right... Both of them lead to the elevator. Why doesn't he just come... Like, why is that... There's a reason that's there. You call the elevator. Unless the elevators go different places. I don't know if we ever check that. I wonder if one's like a... Go somewhere else or something. All right, so we're gonna go down to the lobby. You select the lobby as your destination. To get out of here. The last thing I did in the game was the um, the crime all through the crime scene. Yeah, all through the crime scene was the last thing. So we're gonna go back to the first thing, which was the morgue. I think you get out by like coming down here or something. How do you how do you get out of this stupid thing? Oh, there it is. What's up? Uh, I forget what your name is. What is your name? Officer Bill Linder, Bill. main lobby guard. What's up, Bill? Just passing through, buddy. Do you prefer the voice or text output for these types of games? And <laughs> hello, Mike. How are you? Um, I prefer the voice. Uh, one, cause I'm lazy. Two, uh, if you've been watching long enough and watched this Police Quest series, uh, you will remember that we have missed a lot of text things. <laughs> One, either we're distracted writing something down and they just scroll through. Or two, they're so huge and they give me like three seconds to read the thing and I can't read it that quick. So, and I also like to hear the accents and make fun of the people that are talking. And stuff like that. So, yes, I prefer the voice. Uh, let's get on the map. Yeah, exactly. The text was fast. Um, sometimes impossible to read the time. All right, so we're at the Parker Center. So the order I remember us going out through this was the morgue. Then we went to the police academy. Then we went to Hickman's house. Then we went back to the crime scene and walked all the way around through the store and stuff. And then we went back to Parker Center. So we're just going to go in the same order and figure out what that we missed. I love the transition music. <laughs> Absolutely 90s sitcom. Entering the more Hey, Perkins, always uh, this would have been mid-90s? I'm going to guess 94? Nah, maybe earlier than that. Hi, Detective nah. Carey. Nah, would have came out like 92? I have no idea. Unfortunately, I should know that, but I have no idea. Hey, baby. Hello, Sherry. All right, Sherry, what you got working around here? Incoming and outgoing caskets. Uh, baskets. Okay, can I grab what's in there? Those belong to the county, not you. All right, all right. All right, all right. Incoming and outgoing. All right, I got gotcha. you. Incoming and outgoing. That is not. That's a sign. It's Sherry Moore, the girl everyone adores. What's that right there? Incoming and out. The county spared no expense to furnish the coroner's office. The county spared. The county's. File cabinets full of death certificates. No. The county spared no expense. Alright, can we touch Sherry? 
Detective Carrie, you're a flirt. Ooh, she likes it. Hey, baby. Detective Carrie, you're getting fresh. Uh-oh, she's turning on us. <laughs> she gonna slap us? Detective Carrie, if I didn't know better, I think you were harassing me. Sexually, that is. Wow, she doesn't seem to mind it. Detective Carrie, if you don't stop, I'm going to scream. Help! Detective Carrie has roving hands! Help! <laughs> help! Detective Carrie has no roving hands! No one's coming hands. to help her! Help! <laughs> More jokes from the morgue worker? Definitely. I want to get the answer to that mechanic one that we missed. Uh, I don't see anything here. Does anyone? No one sees anything, right? This doesn't look good. Alright, see you, Sherry. Show me your bag. Oh, shit, Sherry. Sherry, I just molested you. Just let me go. <laughs> there you go. You can go on in, Detective Carey. Thanks. Let me just give you a quick cheeky touch. Help! <laughs> I love that no one helps her. Oh, the, oh, the guy's gone. No. Oh. What was he working on? This is the way station for the morgue. The way station? This is the way station for the morgue. Like, is that way as in W-A-Y? Or way as in W-E-I-G-H? Like, are they weighing people on that thing? This is the way station for the This is the It's Hickman's personal belongings envelope. Ooh. Oh, grab that. There's one next to it, too. You pick up Hickman's personal belongings. Nice! Give me, what's the other one? I'm assuming the other one's the boys. It's Bobby Washington's personal belongings oh, envelope. Speaking of our notes, we have to take notes during these games because there's lots of codes that doesn't tell us ever again and whatnot. At least the old ones. This is a totally different type of game. Police Quest 1, 2, and 3 is a trilogy of Sunny Bonds and is amazing. You should play it if you haven't, if you didn't play it along with us. You can also watch it on YouTube. Um, this one's like a total. This is where the game was switching. Uh, they were going into a more uh, dark theme because uh, the 90s were more dark and violence and stuff, Law and Order type of things. <laughs> um, and this is a transition game. This is the last really police quest game. Uh, after this, it turns into uh, it's called police. The next game is Police Quest SWAT, and it's the first of the SWAT games, which would be cool to play sometime. But this is the last game we're playing as part of this collection. It's actually the last game in. Uh, let's grab Bobby Washington's stuff. You pick up Bobby Washington's personal belongings envelope. <laughs> it's way... It's where they bulk up. W-H-E-Y. Good one. I love wordplay humor. Alright, so that's something we missed the first time. Is there anything else? Can we walk this way? What about going in here? Can we go in here? What's in here? The cold box is off limits to non morgue personnel. Oh, all right. Okay. There doesn't seem to be anything else on that table. It's tough to this tell. This is really. the way station. This is the. Can I get in any of the cabinets? This. You don't work here, and these aren't your things. Okay, alrighty then. All right, let's go in and see the corner. Hey, Long, how's it going, buddy? Right, the corner's gone. The bodies are gone. I'm glad we got everything we got the first time around on that stuff. Did we miss anything? Ooh. Oh. Oh, could we have done things to the body? Six-inch utility knife, limb saw, fillet knife, the zipper, and various forceps and scissors cover the tray. Room 275A, light switch. Room 275A, light switch. This intercom allows communication between examining rooms. The morgue is filled with all sorts of equipment. Alright, now let's play. Keep your hands to yourself. Detective, your expertise is investigative work of a different No, kind. you don't know. I'm a, I'm a cop serial killer. <laughs> Leave the lights on, Detective. Nobles is working. 
Uh, the music is amazing in these games. This one's really got uh, more of a... They're really stressing the feel in the music. Alright, there's nothing here we can... They're not gonna let's grab anything. Uh, what's over here? This is County Coroner Examining Room 2... This is... Isn't there formaldehyde The shelf contains chemicals for flushing body fluids. Let's grab some of that. Since when do you know anything about plumbing? Leave the chemicals to the pros. Plumbing? It's embalming. What are you talking about? This counter contains a very large sink. I use it. Wash our hands. Rather grabby, aren't you? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Uh, look at the drain. This is County Coroner. Ugh. This scale weighs the various organs from an autopsy. A lot can be learned from the weight of. Get in the scale. John, I have that scale. Perkins, Jeb, thank you so much for the subscription. I appreciate it. it. Welcome. Thank you, thank you for the support. You are far too kind. Welcome, hype. Enjoy your MLG emote. It's very useful for when people are actually MLG. You'll use it a lot in this channel. <laughs> Starting to question why I made that a move. Alright, that's the entire corner place, right? So we're out of here. Alright, well that was good. That was you fruitful. Open the door and head to so the we lobby. picked up their belongings. We probably have to return the belongings to the mothers, right? Or the wife and the mother. I love how we just stare at each other. We got quite a tank going. She's white as a goat. She must be Irish. See you, baby. Goodbye, and have a nice day, Detective Kitty. Thanks. See, she doesn't remember anything about the molestation before we walked in. Detective Carrie, you're a flirt. See, she's back to liking us again. All right, we're good. Let's get out of here <laughs> before we molest her again. <laughs> it's because these moments are few and far between. Please, it's nothing but MLG on this channel. Thank Leaving. you so much, Perkins. I appreciate it. Hopefully you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> you also get the bear sub emote, which is the super cool of it. Or just the, the badge, not the emote, the badge. Leaving? Yes, I am leaving. How do I get out of here? Oh, I just used the map. <laughs> Forgot, no driving in this game. Thank the Lord. Driving? If you ever want to... If you ever want to use, use the drive in the worst game that is <laughs> the worst driving in a game that's what i'm trying to say the worst driving in a game maybe police quest 3 <laughs> police quest 3 was terrible uh all right police academy now we don't have to shoot again we already practiced we know what we're doing every time i see this i think of the movie police again which i so want to watch so. Uh, there was nothing out here. I remember going all over this. The door is locked. The range is closed. Oh, it's closed. All right, well, we're not going there anymore. Okay. Uh, Hickman's house. We can return the belongings. We should probably look at the belongings before we return them. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Why do we screech when we park? Like, how fast are we driving that we're turning into this driveway screeching? Like, that's ridiculous. The music sounds like it was made by that guy. Knocking together. seems less intrusive I love that than the guy. doorbell. What, what's his name? Michael what a something? cute kid Valerie is. Show her the badge. Gary, there's no need to identify yourself oh, as a cop. You're here as a fan. Gotcha. Talk to her. Hi, Valerie. How Michael Winslow. That's what it is. That's what it is. Hi, now, Mahoney John. was Gutenberg in? in the movie. That was Mahoney. Mom, Uncle John is back. Mom. Winslow was his real name. I forget what his name in the movie was. God, this is such tired, Hi, sour music. Thanks for coming back. I'm sorry I got so Sound upset. Effect I really don't know what Jones, I'm doing. Jones, Larvel, Jones. That doesn't. So Jones is our sounds. Alright, I don't remember. I understand. Larvel. I hope you're feeling a little better. 
All right, let's talk to her. Catherine, I really need to ask you some questions. Can we try again? I'll try, John. All right, before we upset her, though, let's give her the personal belongings. Let's look at them first. This is Hickman's. Bob Hickman's personal belongings envelope from the coroner's office. Okay, open it. The weight of the envelope indicates there are many items within. Okay. Pick it up. Give it to her. Yee! Yeah. Catherine, these are Bob's personal effects. They were released by the deputy coroner. Thank you, John. Is his wedding band included? No, I didn't I, open it. Yeah, no idea, honey. I don't know. John, but, this you was know, Bob's Kevlar vest. Your husband's gone. I'd like you to have it. What are you doing later? It will keep you safe. <laughs> That's how Sonny would handle it. Thank you, Catherine. I couldn't. I looked at it. Uh, it just told me it was Bob Hickman's items. I grabbed it, and it told me the weight of it. It said I, it wouldn't open it. Which makes sense, and the cop would not open the personal belongings. And stuff. I'm sure they were inventoried at the morgue. I'm sure. Uh, let's talk again, I guess. Uh, we did all this stuff. I mean, we can do it again. Catherine, the department is aware She'll run away that, at that some Bob point. was taking sedatives to combat work-related stress. Remember to run the kid over his Bob leave. Been abusing those medications? He combined them with alcohol use, John. He would drink and take the sedatives and become verbally abusive. Wow. The pills he took, they're in the closet. We got those already. They're in our inventory. We didn't get that answer from her before, did we? I don't remember getting that answer. Catherine, can you tell me what was going on with Bob? What stress was he feeling? Was it strictly work-related? When am I installing Twitch He would Twitch tell me 6? that he couldn't stand to see the little children and Never. the innocent families hurt by all the street violence. He was beginning to hate the gangs. I sing in my He was having a hard time better. staying impartial. Please, you'd have to get me pretty drunk. Ask me after we've played a raucous Friday night multiplayer and... We're done at, like, 8.45 or something. <laughs> and I've had, like, four. <coughs> That's about your best shot. Keep that in your back pocket. That's about your best shot. Catherine, Bob's gun was not found at the scene. Nah, it would take more than half a flat tire. It would take at least two. With at him least. The night he went out? His gun isn't here. I already looked. Bob's captain already asked about it. That's probably, it's probably what would happen, Pig. I'd probably pass out before you'd get me to, <laughs> before you get me to cast it. Catherine, I can't go into the details of Bob's death due to the investigation, but if you have any questions, I'll try and answer them. That's all right, John. I spoke with that lovely Miss Moore and Mr. Nobles at the coroner's office. I know all I need to. That's a nice dress you're wearing, Valerie. Thanks, Uncle John. It's okay. You feeling okay, Valerie? She's been pretty quiet all morning, John. Haven't you, sweetie? Well, her dad her just daddy. did just die. Let's did. give her a break. You feeling okay, Valerie? She's been pretty quiet all morning, John. Haven't you, sweetie? She misses her daddy. Oh, maybe. They Let's try that do. thing. It's a good idea. That's a good idea. Wait, where did I get this? Kevlar bulletproof vest. Where did I get that from? I mean, I'll take it. Don't get me wrong. I just don't know where it came from. You want the candy bar? John, Valerie hasn't eaten anything substantial today. I prefer she not eat candy. Okay, you want an? I got an apple too. You want an apple? I don't like red apples, Uncle John. What? Get out of here! Kill this kid. This kid isn't. This kid isn't human. <laughs> he doesn't like red apple. Like an apple. Get the hell out of here. Can I shoot her now? Stop. There is no threat to life or limb. Secure your weapon. She's a threat. Uh, let's keep talking to the lady. Uh, we actually asked everything. All right, so we're done. I grab this stuff? Gary, that box does not belong to you. Leave it alone. Can I take Hickman's stuff back? Leave that be, detective. Alright. 
I guess we're done here. Oh, wait a minute. Let's take, make sure we have notes. Did we take notes? I forgot. We have to keep taking notes. Don't take any notes, Detective. Catherine might feel you're not here for her as a friend. I'm not here for her as a friend. What is it you wish to notate? What is it you wish... What is... What is it... Just what we talked about. Right, whatever. Let's go look in the closet. Show the wife the pill bottle? I can show. She already told us where it was. Reaching into the pocket, you discover pocket link. Yeah, we Your checked. I remember. We checked all over this closet. No way there's anything else in there. All right. Let's show her. Nope. Let's show her the pill bottle. Catherine, are these the sedatives Bob was taking? Yes. Please take them out of this house. They cause nothing but grief for us. Okay. Now what if I... Should I take a note on that? Like... Don't take any notes. Alright, fine. I'm out. Jesus, game. Thank you, John. Pistol Thank whip the mother by. in front of her. <laughs> Alright, so that was Hickman's house. Uh, we also have Bobby Washington stuff, so we can go back to the crime scene and go all the way. We're gonna, like, we could just go down this, this road here and get to her house, but we're gonna go all the way around to make sure we didn't miss anything. Graffiti Mars the Neighborhood. Yeah, I remember, we looked all throughout this, uh, this alleyway. I remember that. I just feel like, um, out front talking to the guys was an area we could have missed something. And the store, definitely, we could have missed something. We were in that store, like, quick and out. Both lamps on during the day. John probably was stressed about his much. <laughs> have you tried, uh, Pig, you said you had the new Snooker game. Is it any good? How's it compared to uh, the one we play? And does it have more than just Snooker? Like, I want regular, like, eight and nine ball and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's a Jimmy Snooker game. <laughs> you got a 93 break? What is it? I don't even know what that means. It appears that right, we got all the, the bullets out of the bullet holes. In the wall. I remember that. Do we have to take, like, notes? Detective, no. We took notes on it. Too. This information has already. All right, all right, game. Settle down. I feel pretty good that we got everything in this. We tried to look in all of this stuff. There's nothing else here. So let's go out front. 93. Well, it sounds like it's good, but like, what does that mean? Like, you broke the balls up well, or you pocketed four of them? Or... Oh, so you got a 93. Oh, you kept running. I get it. 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 Okay, I got you. All right, we tried to go this way, and I don't think you can. Maximum break is 147. Wow, that's pretty good. Although you're far from maximum ping. You've got areas to improve. It's easier than virtual pools. You have aiming arrows, but AI is ridiculously good, like all snooker games. Eh. I don't mind the AI being good. It forces you to be good. Alright, we tried to get into this place. This guy yelled at us. Oh, I did notice the two dudes weren't there out front this time, so I guess we missed whatever. I guess whatever it was wasn't super important. Uh, we couldn't get in here. door is locked up tight. There's nothing else around here. What's this pole or anything? A concrete pole is effective cover during an armed confrontation. Oh! Well, that's good to know, in case that ever happens. One mistake and they clear up. Uh, that's probably not that great. Oh, we got this guy to talk to. Alright, so this guy's gonna want change, right? I'd like to ask you a few questions. Yeah, okay, sure. Okay, show him the badge just to make sure he knows who I am. I'm Detective Carey, LAPD. I saw you last night in the alley. Got some spare change a fella can have. 
Alright, we'll give you some spare change. Got some spare change of Thunder. Alright! Jesus, man! Let me get it out of my pocket! You've offered enough assistance. Any more change, and he'd have enough for a cheap bottle of wine. That's what he wants, though! Alright, so he's not gonna talk to us anymore. Fine. Got some spare Shut up, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see if we can grab, like, the phone book or anything. Yeah, it don't work. There's no dial tone and no change in the coin return. Useless. <laughs> How was the other guy using it, though, earlier? Like, when we came to this the first time. <laughs> All right. Now, what's going on around here? High fat, low nutritional value. Right. Often what one sees in these small convenience stores. Can I get some? Like, I want to buy some treats. The shelves are stocked with canned goods. Nothing unusual about that. Okay. Amico glue, industrial strength. Okay. Amico glue, industrial strength. Amico glue, wow. That's a industrial lot of glue. Strength. strength. High fat, low right, nutrition. Let's try to grab things. Often what one sees in these small convenience stores. So we can stores. get some chips. Wait, what else? We got papers down here, right? There's the apple. We already took one of those. What's this? The register looks as old as the store. That's the register. The counter has a plethora of merchandise. Right. Can we get some alcohol. These small stores often exploit the poor by selling cheap liquor. Wow. Unfortunately, it's not illegal. He's making quite a judgment there, buddy. She doesn't look very friendly. Alright, so let's try and get some chips. Eat those and your cholesterol count would go through the roof, detective. Uh, that's okay. Get some canned goods. Carrie, you don't need to grocery shop now. Alright, get some, some glue. Can we sniff some? Oh my god, we can. Can we sniff some glue? <laughs> Get some bottles. Detective, a stiff drink is not what you need. Oh, it is. Carrie, you have no time to read the paper. That apple for my friend. Oh, apple we already share. have an apple. That's right. That's right. That's right. I forgot. I'm sorry. Was there something next to you? What is that? Ah, lottery tickets. Ooh. Fool's gold. I want a lottery ticket. The counter is grimy. It no. Could use it. I want a lottery ticket. The counter is grimy. I I want a lottery. The counter is grimy. The counter is grimy. You told me it's a lottery ticket. Ah, lottery tickets. Fool's gold. Okay. All right, now I have to pay for something. Should I show her the apple? No exchange. Okay, so I already own that. All right, but I did, what did I get? I got glue. You want, you pay. Okay. Making sure you're not yelling at me. I remember we tried to leave with the apple and she freaked you out. You smart. You know a goodbye when you see it. You shop here again. For glue? Alright, cool. Uh, I don't see anything else here. Can I get some sunglasses? What you see is what you get, Gary. What you see. These small stores often... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, lottery tickets. Fool's gold. Uh, maybe they're just on the thing. I don't know. I can't get them. The counter is grimy. Talk to her. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Make sure we got everything from her. Okay, you ask. You said you saw me last night. Did you happen to see anything else? Anything out of the ordinary, such as different people or cars in the neighborhood? I already told police all I know. Well, if you think of anything, I'd appreciate hearing from you. Just call me at Parker Center. Ask for robbery homicide, Detective Carey. I hate the way he says homicide. It's homicide, man. By the way, Miss Chi, did you know Bobby Washington? He was a good boy. Always helped me for free. He good boy. He try good and boy. stay away from gangs. No trouble. Bobby, good boy. Is there anything else you could tell me about Bobby, Ms. Chi? What to tell? Boy's either good or bad. Good boy. I was wondering if you'd remembered anything more about last night's events? 
I run business. No time to run around and do your job too. Wow. You want to buy something? Alright, let's make sure we got her noted down. Can you tell me your yeah. name and what your position is here? I owner of Lucky Mini Mart. I work hard for my store. My name is Kim Chi. Kim Chi! What's up, Kim? Alright, we're out. Alright, so there's a couple things in there we missed. We got glue and we wrote the notes of Kim Chi. So we obviously missed those the first time around. <clears throat> Let's go give uh, Bobby Washington's mom his uh, belongings back. Oh, uh, we got this little kid, too. Alright, let's show the badge to the kid. We're not a stranger. She has a pretty good memory for a little girl. No need to display your badge a second time. Give that guy the glue to chase his 40. <laughs> uh, maybe he will take it. Maybe he'll give us... Alright, we'll try it on the way back. You never know, man. This game is super dark sometimes. We found a kid in a dumpster out of nowhere. Glue the kid to the ground. She probably has a big jar of paste at home. Forget the glue. Okay. Uh, she want a candy. Didn't we try to give her a candy bar? Would you like a candy bar? My mommy lets me take candy at Halloween. Is it Halloween time? Sure, kid. Go back and rob the store with the glue. This is a stick up. Oh God, Spud. <laughs> Tweet that one to FM. Let's get his. <laughs> yes, get out. Uh, what about the only other? Unless she wants money. We have an apple we can offer. I don't think she's gonna take that. You have lots of money. <laughs> I wish my mommy had lots of money. Oh. Um. Should we give her pills? You want some pills? Stop. Why do you think this bottle has a childproof cap? Whatever. It's more like an adult proof cap. Um should we take the kid in? <laughs> Handcuff her. Arrest this little girl? <laughs> For what? Put the cuffs away. I'm surprised it doesn't take points away from us. Uh let's try the apple. She ain't gonna take it. Oh shit, she is. Would you and your doll like an apple? Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Night. You got something for me, or do I get points for just being nice? Hello, Lissandra. Hi. I'm pretending I'm a mom. Okay, I don't care. All right. Well, we got points. That's cool. All right. Let's talk to mom. Mama Washington. Mrs. Washington, if there's anything the department or I can do, please call. <laughs> There's Party nothing anybody lasagna. can do. Nobody can bring my son home. Alright, well, let's give her her uh, belongings. Oh, let's look at them first. Bobby Washington's personal belongings envelope, released from the county coroner's office. Let's try to open it. The envelope it. feels as though there is not much in it. Well, he's a kid. I mean, what do you expect him to have? Let's see if we give it to ourselves. Carrie, this does not belong to you. You are merely the messenger. Okay. Give it to her. Yeah! Mrs. Washington, these are the items found on Bobby's person the night he was killed. I'm so sorry, man. Thank you. Mrs. Washington, can you tell me when you last saw Bobby? Was he with friends? Did he tell you where he was going? He was heading out to play nice ball. Music's super loud. He loved baseball. He always told me he was going to make me proud. He was going to be in the major league. He was a good boy to take. Oh, yeah. Who was his Never favorite baseball player? Never caused me any trouble. I forget who it was. He was a man around this house. He was my little man. Time 
time he was last seen. This is Washington. What time of day did you last see Bob? He left the house after dinner, maybe around 6.30. Headed over to the field to play ball. Was always we shot 17 dodge. 17 times. This is Washington. What can you tell me about gang activity in your neighborhood? I don't want to end up dead like my son, Detective. I've got a little girl who needs me. Yeah, it's the kid in the dumpster who shot 17 times. About the gangs around me, my guess is that he saw the cop get killed. Like he was like walking Maybe home one or of something. Them will talk to you. And he saw the cop get killed or dumped off, I guess, because the cop was killed somewhere else in a city position and it dumped there. So he probably saw them dump him and then they had to kill the kid instead of a witness. That's gonna that's my current guess at what is going on here. Mrs. Washington, is there anything the department can do for you? These gangs are you super can violent. Find though. Who killed my son. You can make these streets safe for the, the children. Kid? He shot himself 17 times, Pig? That's impressive. I mean, that's commitment. <laughs> I mean, the fact that you're not dead after the first 16, uh, you know, that's kind of crazy. Uh, Alright, are we good? Let's make sure we got notes. Refrain from taking notes at this time. The situation is sensitive and you... I don't really care. What is it about... Just take some notes, man. Um... This is the Washington. It's the car. Washington family car. Can I like go in the house? Ooh, where are we going? Climb over the railing. <laughs> go in. Why knock on the door when the resident is right in front of you? I don't want to knock on the door. I want to go in. Why knock on the door? Oh, he won't go in. All right, and we can't go any further that way. So I think we got everything. All right, so we definitely did more stuff. You know, remember, these games are all based on, um, like, you doing certain things, right? So you can move forward. So I think our best bet now is we got a lot of evidence. We have the pills. Or maybe not a lot of evidence, but we have the pills. We got, oh, and the glue. I don't know what the glue's for. We'll try and give it to the people in the evidence. I think that's it, though. All right, maybe we didn't get too much. But I don't know. Maybe we got important things in our notes or something. All right, let's get out of here. Sniff it. All right, so now we go back to Parker Center. Uh, I don't know. I don't really know if they would be or not. Maybe they just need to be properly disposed of or something. I don't know. We gotta save though. Alright, um, save. Alright, we're just gonna call this one back at station because we're technically back at the station again. <laughs> um, oh, uh, no entrance without proper identification. Dude, I come in and out of here multiple times a day, man. Like, seriously. There we go. Oh, you want my ID. Never mind. Those two I Okay, I get it, I get it. Detective, I'm wearing my ID. I serve as an example to all. Okay. You attach there your you proper go. center you happy? ID to your suit. God. Alright, so... Damn, I forget what floor everything's on. So we'll just go down them you again. Press the button to <laughs> like call the elevator. Before. I know there's a bunch of floors with cleaning people, little chains, <laughs> and one floor with a guy with a gun. Uh, so let's first go to the basement, and then we'll go up and do the eighth. Yeah, we'll do the. You select first. the basement as your destination. I don't remember what was down here. Oh, there's the property clerk or whatever, or evidence or something. Alright, so this was what? Polygraph. S-I-D. Polygraph, that's right, okay. 
Can't wait till we use that room. Hello, detective. How can I help you? Alright. How's everything going? Hello, Chester, Chester the Molesta. Alright, so let's see if she wants the glue. Oh, she does. Chester, I'd like you to take a look at this and see if you can match it to the glue found in Hickman's eyes. I purchased it in the neighborhood where Hickman was found. I know it's a long shot. I totally Hold forgot on, his detective. eyes were glued shut. I only shut. need a sample. You can have my sample anytime there, Chester. I uh, forgot that uh, his eyes were glued, so that is evidence pick. <laughs> Could be. Yeah, I forgot about it too. <laughs> it's not in my notes. She wants the pills too. Detective, you've shown these to me before, oh. and I've already told you that I do not believe these could possibly have played a part in Hickman's death. Okay, sorry, 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 Chester. She wants a sample of your sticky stuff. Anytime, Chester. Alright, so that was good. That See was you good. later, Detective Carey. She wanted the glue. We're ticking off boxes here. Um, so that's everything down here. There's only two things down. Pressing the button, you call the elevator. So now we'll go to six and work our way down and see all the Shanes. Say hi to him. Make sure he's working. He's always cleaning the same spot. You select the eighth floor as your destination. Plus, you know what's going to happen one of these times. Is one of the ways that we progress at some point is one of these floors is magically going to open or something like they wouldn't put eight floors in this game if you select the, like seventh the top floor five you never even go to like that doesn't make any sense like the cleaning guy's not that great of a joke either is this guy like who is this guy? like i don't understand it's we're in the police station what is this guy doing you select the sixth floor as your destination this will be Shane. Oh, no, it's something different. What's going on here? Kerry, you find him, and I'll pull the switch. Who the hell are you? It's the Chief. Chief Daryl F. Oh, Gates. Oh, our boss. Oh, that's Chief Daryl F. Gates? Hilarious. This officer is the Chief's press secretary. He looks very efficient, Detective. Okay, let's talk to the chief. We don't get an often FaceTime with the chief. Gary, the chief is busy and so are you. Get back to work. Not really that busy. This young officer is busy recording what the chief has to say, not what you have to say. Right, and we can't walk out. Can we touch the chief? The chief doesn't have time to shake your hand. He's a busy man. Didn't say I wanted to shake his hands. <laughs> He's tougher than he looks. He can kill a man with a pencil. I doubt that. Your action is unwarranted. I'm hitting. You select the fifth floor as your destination. My action's unwarranted. I'm hitting floor five. Is he the Joker? He looks like the. Uh, this guy looks like the Joker from the show Gotham. Oh, I remember this one. The line of drones. This line goes forever. Dude, every one of these people look like they were photoshopped into the scene. <laughs> From like a different photo. You select the fourth floor as your destination. One of these, is Shane home or something? I guess maybe Shane only cleans at night or something. All right, so this is where property is, I think. Shane singing putting duets together or whatever you do in that game. Should play through the Gabriel Knight series? I never heard of it. You can't reach the door from where you are. What is that? Is that I assume it's a point and click. Hello, right, Detective Carey. How are you today? Hope no everything's I going well. No idea what your name is, but... Yeah, thank you, Teddy. Teddy. All right, Teddy. Uh, Teddy, you want some glue? Sir, is this related to a crime or a criminal? Possibly, she's testing. It's just a hunch on my part, Baker. I want a test run to see if it matches with the glue found on the victims in my investigation. Say, take it to Chester. Well, sir, I can't book it into property. Why don't you run it by Chester? She can take a sample, run all the tests you want. All right, thanks, did that. Just checking, man, just checking. 
Uh, you want the pills? Detective, are these from a crime scene or used in the commission of a crime? No, Baker, I found them at Hickman's house. I thought maybe they could be tested to see if they match in any way to Hickman's toxicology report. If they're not crime related, I can't help you. But what about Chester? She can process right, so them. I gave them to Chester and she said they had nothing to do with it. So I guess I don't do anything with these pills. Maybe I should just take them. <laughs> Where did I get this? Where did I get this from? Like that just popped up out of nowhere at some point. Like when we left the station or something. Uh, he's not going to want anything else. He has his own report. He doesn't want my report. Sir, this is your... Actually, I thought you might like to... No, he's, he doesn't want our report. Anything else? You want a candy bar, dude? Sir, how would you like this process? Is it to be tested for something? I got it out of the vending machine in the lobby. Well, sir, I believe the company who services the vending machine <coughs> is quite reputable. So unless anyone has experienced food poisoning, I would suggest we forego any testing at this time. Broken Sword is still your favorite point and click. I never played Broken Sword series. I think other point and click, I have a lot of them in my library. The other one that I was tempted to play was, uh, I have three, I think three Indiana Jones point and click games. I forget what they're called. Indiana Jones and something. Um, that I was tempted to play at one point. But I think we I went with Police Quest over it. Um, Alright, I think that's it. <laughs> there's five of them? Wow. Well, that's a lot of them. Alright, there's nothing he wants. Okay, so we're out of here. None of these other doors go anywhere. Fourth floor hallway, park. Yeah. The elevator doors are closed. Fourth floor. All right. Uh, trash can, we can't go past this hallway. I remember that. Okay. Pressing the button, you call the elevator. So we don't know what we're supposed to do. Well, we processed the glue, but we have it back. So I don't know. And we don't know what to do with this candy bar or the pills for that matter. So we're on the fourth. The third is our office, right? I think. What's on the second floor? You select the second floor as your destination. Pretty sure the third's our office. Oh, just another line of people. Wow, look how skinny this guy is. Jesus. This man. line goes forever. He's got twig legs or something. Look at that. You select the third floor as your destination. Breathe hard enough on his leg, they snap in half. That chick looks super cool, look at her. All right, we're back. Anything going on? Junior? Answer your phone or you'll be damn lucky to walk out of here alive today. Okay, all right, all right, hold on. Which, where's my phone? Your action is un- Where's my phone? I don't know where my phone is. Where's, which one's my phone? It's your very own desk. Oh, there it is. Got it. Hello, Robbery Homicide. This is Detective Carey. May I help you? This did not happen before. Yo, baby, what's up? Be emo. <laughs> you be Who? wanting a piece of the straight action, huh? I got the news for you. I know some straight up talk. Yo, baby, yo, you hear me talking? Yes, emo, I'm here. Are you emo? telling me that you have information concerning last night's murders? Straight up, baby. <laughs> I be waiting by the field if you be interested. <laughs> oh, I be interested. He's waiting by the what? The field? Where are we going? Emo was the guy on the payphone? Oh, was he? Okay. So is Your he calling action us? is unwarranted. Is he calling it? Do I need to note that? I want to note. Can I note it or something? What is it? All right, maybe I can. 
All right, do I? Don't have to fill it. A there is no need to complete an additional report on the incidents regarding the alley. Okay. Does he want my form? I just remember we gotta like give this guy a form like almost every time we see him or something. Does he want this? Here you go, Hal. You are, Junior. Look, Junior, I'm not gonna do all of the paperwork around here. Fill out the damn report and then give it to me. Okay, so we can't fill it out. Let's just make sure. There is no need to complete. Okay, so we can't fill it out. All right, fine. Fine. All right, now where are we going? I guess we're going to the crime scene or whatever. All right, let's save it before we leave. All right. So we're gonna got call at station. Emo, I should have put emo call this. So we're just gonna go to the crime scene, I guess. Uh, if it was the guy on the um, on the payphone, maybe he's meeting us there. I don't know what he said. He said the field. I I, I don't know what the field is. Maybe there's a new place on our you map. You call the too. elevator. It is a huge map. There's, I'm sure there's more area, more places to go. I hope we never have to get anywhere quick. Uh, lobby. You please. select the lobby as your destination. I love their commitment to elevator music. Isn't who suicidal? Emo? Yo, money, yo! Maybe Emo wants a candy bar. Alright, see you, Bill. <laughs> see Bill like 80 times in a day as we walk past him. It's gotten darker, or is it me? Alright, map it up. Alright, we have no new locations. He's at the field, he said. I guess that's down here. Let's just go here. Oh shit, there he is. Oh shit. Oh, what the? What the? F Did someone just jump out and... Okay, hold on a second. Hold on. We have armor. Put armor on. That should provide some protection. Get our gun out. You exchange a full clip for the empty clip. Okay. Never put. <laughs> You're hit. Lucky it's only a graze. Ah, it's only a graze. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, no, I don't shoot him. Yeah, he's helping. Oh, we got this. We got this, boys. Are we hitting him or? I'm not sure we're hitting. This guy's doing nothing, I don't think. Okay, how many bullets have we shot? Anyone counting? I don't think this is working very well. America, is there a way to add? What the hell is that? I don't know what you're talking about. Do you want me to run a commercial right now? You've run out of rounds for your Beretta. Oh, okay. Let's keep going. Those those two items don't go They absolutely go together, game. Stop messing with me. Those two items don't go together. Those two Game, you have to be messing with me, game. The grip on the Beretta is a fine fit for you. The grip on the Beretta. Those two items don't go together. Game, what is going on? I can't aim down the sights. There's no sights. I don't know how to do that. Why won't it let me reload my gun? Those two items don't... You've run out of rounds for your Beretta. So I've run out of rounds. Like, what do I do then? All right, let's charge. 
Charge him. Don't move, detective. Keep your cover. Okay, maybe this guy will take care of him. Die and reload. Can I get back in my car? To attempt to enter your vehicle and drive away will surely result in death. Take cover and defend your position. I can't defend myself. I got no bullets. You can't reach your trunk from here. We'll get over there then. Oh. Oh, we can move. Get my trunk. Your trunk is locked. Oh my god, game. Seriously, this is not the time. Oh, that's right, we have a shotgun in here. Give it to me, give it the to me. The shotgun is locked. Oh my god, game. You unlocked the shotgun, Karen. How have we not been shot looking into this uh, thing? Okay, get out of here. Oh, whoa, we're in a different area. Hold on. There is no need to reload your... Okay, okay, okay. Oh, now I got a thingy. Oh, God, what is going on? This is tough to see. Oh, I kind of hit him. How'd he get over there already? Did we get him? Oh, my God, where'd backup come from? Okay, it's Tuesday, 9 a.m. <laughs> What? So what you yeah, be, MLG, Harry? I guess. You're going to act like a pro or a spoiled brat? Have I made a mistake in assigning you a lead investigator on this case? But, but I do. No, sir. I... I'll have you know I've had dozens of calls this morning on you shoving that reporter yesterday. Oh. Everybody in town, from the chief to the mayor to outraged Joe Citizen, saw you push her. Sorry about that. Damn, you were all over the news. Sorry. <laughs> Chuck Lieutenant, a grenade. It wasn't. We did do that. Besides we did do you that. Appear in Otherwise, we did pretty good. You were downright politically incorrect. You shove one more reporter, and the department's going to get slapped with a civil suit. That's the department. Shoving anybody else, and I'm going to give you the boot myself. Uh-oh. All right, no more shoving Lieutenant, reporters. I'd like to explain then there's the small issue of last night's <laughs> event, Gary. Would you mind telling me what you were doing in the middle of a crash sting operation? Sir, I received a telephone call from a possible informant. That was crash! Set up a meeting. I walked into an ambush. That was the crash unit that we have to talk to. So it would seem, Gary, so it would seem. However, your tete tete cost the department thousands of dollars and months of work. Whoa, Captain. Crash has been undercover for months on that operation. They were a fly's hair away from busting a gun running ring wide open. Oh, sorry. With your help, the only catch they made was that local punk, Spiff. Luckily oh, is that? For you, your informant. What's his Rag name? Ragtag Spiff. What kind of name is that? Has turned into a little songbird. Wait a minute, Emo's, Emo's alive? pretty in the hospital, singing how Spiff's the one who killed the Washington boy. Emo contends that Spiff wanted the boy to deliver guns to gang members, and he wouldn't do it. The what? only redeeming aspect of this whole affair is that Hickman's gun was found in Spiff's apartment when they entered under warrant. Okay. This ID is running ballistics on Spiff's gun to see if they match the slugs taken from the dead boy. And speaking of SID, they've run ballistics on your firearms and they're ready to be picked up. The police commission's going to want to know where and into whom your bullets went last night. <laughs> These tests are vital. Check with Chester before you head out. Okay. Thank you, Lieutenant. Sir, it would appear to me that if Spiff is found to be connected to the Washington boy's murder, might not he also be connected to Bob's? It doesn't work that way, Carrie. While you were out being a cowboy, another body showed. Oh, no. The M.O. is similar. Very similar. It's tortured? Again, it's one of our own. Oh, my God. His name is Rene Garcia. Worked out of Hollenbeck. Ah, who cares about Garcia's the Garcia's body was found on the front lawn of a singer. What did they call those guys? Rappers? Oh! By the name of Yo Money. <laughs> yeah, baby! Must be some big star. I'm getting static from upstairs. Anyways. Oh, I hope Garcia we go to a rap concert. was found by this money man's bodyguard. He was walking a lady to her car that had been there for a party about 4 a.m. I want you to get over there and see what's going on. Okay. And remember, Carrie, no cowboy tricks. Just try and be nice. I okay? mean, I'll try. They pull guns. I gotta pull guns. 
you know, fire and fire with fire and all that, Chief. Lieutenant. Kerry, you have your assignment. Go out and find yourself uh, a He never car. wants to chit-chat with us. All right, should we take notes, maybe? What? Trying to prove to me you're working? I don't want to see your notebook. Just make sure you keep your murder book up to date. You understand? Okay. I will. I will. I swear. I swear. Okay, we're out. We're out, Chief. We're out, buddy. <laughs> no cowboy tricks. I did not shoot a crash team member. I shot the bad guy. I shot it. We shot at Ragtag. Yeah. Obviously, we didn't kill you him. You just dropped it. Somehow, Emo didn't get killed either. I swear the guy <laughs> shot him to death from behind the wall. Goddamn but... broads. Hey, Junior. That was yep. quite a shootout last night. Hey. Heard all about it. You're goddamn lucky one of those punks didn't blow your head off. Please. I know what I'm doing. I want you to listen up, Junior. Playing cowboy only takes you so far in this damn job. If you want to make it Dude, as long I as I Dude, I wasn't playing cowboy. I just showed up. Branch. People started me, shooting Junior? at me. You just goddamn lucky you weren't killed. Yeah, where the hell were you, partner? You just sit at your desk all day, you bastard. I actually go out and do all the legwork. All right, let's fill out one of these stupid forms. I'm guessing maybe he wants it every day or something. You complete a 3.14 documenting the... All right, and then give it to this moke. You'll need to stand up and move to accomplish that. Are you that. serious, game? All right, give him the thing. Here you go, Hal. Do our paperwork, bitch. Do it, Junior. <laughs> do, 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 do. I wish we knew how much points we had. Oh, here we go. Score 174. Oh, it doesn't tell us what it's out of, though. But we already have 174. We only did one day. How many points are in this game? All right. Um, anything we got to talk to you about? Hickman's gun. Hal, what have you heard about the retrieval of Hickman's gun? They found the damn thing under that punk Spiff's flea-bitten mattress. SID's running oh, ballistics we, as we speak, Junior. We did complete Monday, so we definitely get a crunch bar for complete Monday. No one can argue that one. May even deserve two. All right, what else you got there? What's my partner's name? Hal Bottoms. What you got there, Bottoms? It was quite a shootout, Hal. They had automatic weapons. Damn right they did, Junior. That's their gun of choice nowadays. Hell, we ain't hardly got a fighting chance against those gangsters. You know, Junior, the big boys are gonna be wanting to talk to you about this. You might just think about talking to one of the shrinks first. You know? Get it all in perspective. I'm cool, Hal. Don't worry about it, man. I shoot people for breakfast. My guns were taken last night to have ballistics run. <laughs> my so guns! in case there is an inquiry, the big guys will know where my bullets went. Uh, you gotta love the force, Junior. They're looking out for you. And you remember, you get nightmares, you gotta see one of them shrinks. You're just damn lucky you made it out alive, kid. Damn lucky. Damn lucky. Please. All right. Um, so the only thing in our desk is more of those forms. And if we have to give them one a day, we gave it to them at the beginning yesterday. And the beginning today, so we don't need one till tomorrow. So that's fine. Uh, the computer, I don't think, has anything new in it. It doesn't update like the computer in Police Quest 3. It just gave us all that gang information, right? Uh, Captain already... This guy doesn't want to talk. The man is conducting a telephone interview. He's been on the telephone forever. Like, seriously, I don't think this guy sleeps. Alright, so we need to go to Chester... Who I believe is in the basement. You call the elevator. All right, Chester's in the basement. Properties on floor two. And I forget if anything else is anywhere else. Oh, we should save also. No, I can't save. All right, let's go to the basement. You select hey, the girly, basement IPR. as your destination. You want a treat? Better get the big milk bone. There you go, buddy. I know. Yummy stuff. Oh, yeah, even after his long walkie. Very good, Pierre. 
Spud says hello. Bear says hello. Mm -hmm. He's wagging his tail as soon as he hears Spud. Pig says hello. Bear likes pigs. <laughs> Bear likes everybody. And everything. Uh, so there are, every once in a while, he'll run into a dog he does not like. A dog or something that he doesn't like. Uh, let's go down and talk to Chester. Uh huh, he's doing pretty good. Hey, Here to pick up your firearms? They're all ready. Uh huh. His best week in a while. Mm hmm. He's having fun. It was. Yeah, it's gonna get hot soon, so Bear's gonna get some funds like yeah no no he's actually the the poops have been solid for a while uh but he just got over the urinary tract infection and stuff and um he was a little mopey over the weekends it was rainy and stuff we don't know if that affected it but today he's been all bright and bushy tailed so i think he's doing pretty good thanks chester i appreciate it all right so we got our you gun. know detective nobles and i are heading over to the shortstop tonight for a beer would you Ooh. care to join us damn right i'm in are you asking me out on a date, Chester? Not in your wildest dreams, oh, Detective. Man. Chester was almost asking me out on a date, baby. Better watch out. Uh -oh. Chester's a little cutie. Can you ask <laughs> Thanks, Chester. I got nothing for Chester, right? She already took a sample of the glue. She doesn't... Sure, she doesn't want the pills. Detective, you've shown these to me before, and I've already told you that I do not... Okay, all right. I'm just checking, Chester. I'm thorough. <laughs> that is a good time. Definitely, Spud, when you have solid poop. <laughs> Nothing better. You don't, you don't know, you don't take, you don't know what you're taking for granted yeah. until you don't have it. <laughs> Mwah. Thanks, baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's one thing, knock on wood, that I've had pretty good is, like, I've been quite regular for decades. <laughs> quite regular for decades. A couple ups and downs here and there, don't don't get me wrong, but relatively regular. Uh, joke's on you, Spud, and has had a solid two in two years. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh... All right, uh, Chester doesn't want anything else. All right, see you, Chester. Don't forget Thanks. the shortstop tonight, Detective. I'll be there, baby. All right, so that's it, right? We're out now. So let's save before we forget. And I'm going to take a quick, like, stupid quick break. I'm not even, I don't have to go to the bathroom. I just need to get a drink. Um, okay, so we're on day two. Tuesday, we'll call it. <laughs> Tuesday... Station. Or leaving station. Because we got the gun, right? Leaving station. Alright. So we're going to save that right there real quick. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break. I won't even throw up the break screen. Um, I will be back in hopefully about like a minute to two, probably two minutes. Uh, Tuesday leaving station. <laughs> Friday I'm in love. <laughs> Great reference. Your best in a while, Spud. In a while. Your best. Your best. <laughs> uh, I will be back in just a couple minutes. I'm going to get a quick drink. Hopefully, you hang out through the break. If you cannot, have yourself a great rest of your evening. I'm going to be playing Police Quest 4 all week. I'll be here all week. Uh, Friday, we'll see if we can get some actual multiplayer. I apologize for last week. We'll get something together. It is not Star Wars, and it will not be any FPS. I am off FPS for a while. I'm sorry. <laughs> If you guys want to play FPS, great. We'll get on somebody else's and I'll watch. Uh, but I am off FPS for a while. So, uh, could be some tabletop. Uh, could be some Jackbox. Oh, also, one other thing. Throwing it out there. Uh, I might throw it in the Discord at some point, too. So, Saturday technically is exactly four years the, when I started streaming. Um, and I'm not playing baseball this week. I'm going to take a week off. Um, 
I don't know what to play. I could play. I have plenty of simulator games. I want to get back to Jurassic World Evolution. I want to try. Thief Simulators had a few updates, added some stuff to the game. I want to try that again. Um, but I'm thinking, you know, it's a little different stream. So I don't know. Maybe we do some regular multiplayer Friday night, like maybe some Uno or some tabletop. And then maybe uh, we could do Jackbox games on Saturday. I could do a later stream. We could do a Saturday night multiplayer. I don't know. Or I could just do a regular stream. I'm not doing Silent Hunter 3. <laughs> Although there's that new U-boat pick. I hear it's FTL for submarine. Um, anyway, I'll be back. Think about it. Let me know what you think. Um, I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Be right back. All right, we're back. Thanks for waiting. I appreciate it. Uh, put the feelers out on Discord. All right, I'll see what I'll do. I know Pixie's away, so she will be fuming if you do multiplayer. What, on Saturday night? Or Friday night? Worms sounds good. Toy with your worm. But, like, I guess I could just do it. It's not a big deal. I could just do a regular cast on Saturday. I just didn't know if people wanted to do, like, multiplayer on Saturday. Let me get my mouse proper. There we go. All right. Where were we and what are we doing? Oh, we're leaving. We're out of here. We just saved. Pressing the button, you crawl Realms. the elevator. Just go into the derby game. Oh, on Saturday. But see, like, maybe what I'll do, I think what I'll toy with. Maybe I'll put the feelers out in Discord. Although, putting feelers out in Discord is like talking to a brick wall. Half the time. Um, is maybe we do like worms on Friday night. I make it a low key night. We just have some nice fun with worms, which is a fun game, sober or having a drink or two. And 
and then Saturday I push the cast to later like my afternoon your guys evening like earlier evening like 7 or 8 o'clock your guys time I'm thinking for, for a few hours and I just plan on drinking and playing like Jackbox games <laughs> get hammered <laughs> Uh, yeah, the votes seem to get some interest, although they always end up tied, which is hilarious. I think people just do it the mess. <laughs> you it is the weird how a lot, of, although the last one we did, there was a clear winner. But I've done at least four polls where, that have gotten more than ten votes that, like, two of the things were dead tied. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not installing Twitch Sync. That sounds like a horrible time. <laughs> It's not a celebration. It's just putting you guys through torture. And it would have to have, like... Does it have old school rap songs? Like, I'm talking 80s, early 90s. Hell, even some late 70s. You got a better chance if it's got some of that. Old school Beastie Boys are new. Like, I don't mind. Like, Beastie Boys are good. But I know old school stuff. I don't know a lot of new school stuff. And I know there's not any new... You know what I mean. Like, anything after... Like... License to Ill, I'm very familiar with. Paul's Boutique, I'm somewhat familiar with. And then anything after that, I've dipped and dabbled. Oh, we got a new area. Alright, so the morgue is still here. It's Tuesday, so we don't have to do the thing until Wednesday. Hickman's house is still here. That's still here. Alright, so we're going to Yo Money's estate. Alright, so we're going to Yo Money. Yo Money. Does it have salt and pepper, really? Like, push it. That's the, like, I need B-side salt and pepper. Like, Spinderella's not a fella, but a girl DJ. That's a great song. Um. What are some other B-side salt and pepper? Uh, damn, I can't think of the names of the songs. No Vanilla Ice. But yeah, if Yo Money's got a nice estate. Vanilla Ice would be hilarious. Got any NWA? <laughs> Run DMC would also be good. Right, let's take a look at Yo Money. What happened here? The body. Oh, that's the guy that got killed. Officer yeah. Rene Garcia. Got it. Got it. A 1989 Lamborghini Countach, the 25th anniversary model. That's a sweet car. The home of Yo Money, mega superstar rapper. Indigenous plants decorate the well-tended flower bed. It's got some palm trees. It's a Sega palm. Ooh. It's a Sega palm. What you see is what you get, Gary. All right, let's walk up to his estate. Yeah, it's what he said, a Sega palm. I was expecting to hear the Sega <laughs> theme song. <laughs> Fixture, because it's a Sega palm. Fixture palm. Hello! <laughs> Says something to the effect of, only if you're using the Japanese version 2 of the Sega set or something. <laughs> I love you, Vix. I love you. I'm just highly technical and you're perfect. Alright, let's take a look at G Money's estate. The home of Yo Money, Mega or Superstar Rapper. He should be G Money, but Sega it's Yo Palm. Money. The home of Yo Money, Mega Superstar Rapper. Alright, can we walk to his car? Right, let's peek around before we talk. <laughs> okay, I guess the dog's not letting us go that way. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go up to his door. Yeah, what do you want? Wow, that guy's got a huge neck! Holy moly, his neck is wider than his head! How does that happen? Holy moly! <laughs> this guy- Oh shit! <laughs> guy is nothing but neck! Wow. That's impressive. He is a big boy. 
Illinois. He looks Samoan. Yeah. What if what he knows the want? rock? Uh, show him my badge. Hello, I'm Detective Carey, Homicide LAPD. <laughs> I was in all of your necks there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is yo money available? I need to speak with him. Come on in. Yo money's been wanting to talk to you, pops. All right, cool, cool. Whoa! Who's the hell? Well, look who's here. Our representative from the police department. It's about time you got here. Bitch, have you please. Seen a mess out in our lawn? Do you have any idea what kind of field day the press is having with this? Do is a dead cop hurt, hurting property values? Sam? A dead cop on our lawn. What the hell are you doing about it? I think you people planted that dead cop What's on our lawn. Doing? Probably knew something he should do. Dude! And what better way to defuse He's a rapper! This is publicity gold here! This is such bullshit. I want that yellow tape off our lawn immediately. I want the persons responsible to own up. Whatever, this, this is publicity gold mine, honey. Well, I'll make sure some butt is kicked. He's no per rapper. <laughs> Dude, rappers would die for this kind of publicity back in the day. Come on now. A dead cop on your front lawn that you didn't actually do, but people can think you did? Come on now. That sounds amazing for a rapper's reputation. All right, let's talk to these crazy people. All right, let's talk to the lady first. Please calm down, miss. I'm here to discuss the situation. Oh, yeah? Well, then, let's hear it. Okay, let's discuss. Oh, somebody's calling. Hello? What do you want? Knock this crap off. Quit calling us. Oh, yeah? Bullshit. Quit calling. Do you understand? Damn, this chick's mouth. What was that all about? I couldn't help but notice the unwanted phone call. This is personal business. We don't need your intervention. Okay. I'd like to ask... I have nothing to say to you. Okay, so she's not going to be helpful. I'd like to ask... I have nothing... Okay, alright. Let's take a look around. The ashtray is full of half-smoked, lipstick-stained cigarette butts. Alright, so she's an avid smoker. We get it. A 27-inch Sony. Wow, 27 inches. That's just huge in the early 90s. It's a low res gift of Carlton dancing up. in the background. Listen, listen, listen to me. You quit calling here. Do you understand? I can't do, do anything when she's on the phone. That's kind of annoying. Arrest, jail. You quit calling us. Oh, now I can if I just shut her up. Okay. Uh, let's talk to G Money. I'm Detective John or Carey, yo, LAPD homicide. Yo, what's up? All right, let's let's write down yo money just in case he has anything we need to yo money what do you got yo money that phone call it's under control it's an unfinished business that's all man okay can you tell me anything about the dead cop on your lawn okay <laughs> thank you <laughs> money who discovered officer garcia Yo, my man, he was just there. Who knows? We all found him. Danny D saw him. I saw him. He was just there, man. You do realize, Volpez, I'd have to look it up. But I'd have to guess that this game was released before Carlton actually did the dance on the show. How many times? I think. Listen, you piece of crap. When was Fresh Prince? Fresh Prince was 90s, right? But that was like mid. prosecute you. Do you understand? I don't know, I'd have to look it up. What but you're doing is illegal. First. No, you listen to me. Right, listen, we don't up, have to lady. take this. Do you think I take All right, whatever. Talk to G. Money. That phone call. I know care. Later, of... man. I got business to G. I'm fine with it. All right, tell me that that body. Money. Again. Who discovered Officer Garcia? Yo, my man, he was just there. Who knows? We all found him. Danny D saw him. I saw him. He was just there, man. Whereabouts? Money. The body was found around 4 or 5 a.m. Had you been out the evening before, or were you home? 
had a house party. Some girls in, you know, a little party. Uh -huh. Were you familiar with all the guests, or were there people here you didn't know? Yo, I don't take the strangers, man. We had some girls in, for my bros. A little entertainment. Me and Nicolette, we was mostly upstairs. The party? It's one of those perks of working for me. Alright, so you let people just party at your house and you hook up your dudes with chicks. Okay, I get it. Oh shit, what do you want? Oh uh, no, what? Oh my god, what just happened? No! What just happened? Hold on a second. No, we're restoring. What happened there? Nah, we're doing this again. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened there. Why did Pressing he throw us out? You call the elevator. I should have saved it in front of G Money's house, but I didn't. I don't know why he threw us out. We can't go. We can't go forward. He just threw us out. The bodyguard said something. And then I tried to click to talk to G Money. Didn't know the bodyguard was saying something. And then it just went straight through whatever he said. And then he threw me out of the place. I was I pressing too much or something? We'll find out. We'll save it in front of G Money's house. It just takes a little time to get there. But gives me just enough time to eat another crunch bar, probably. Oh, I can just leave from here. Oh, perfect. Awesome. I don't even have to go outside. That's great. I love it. Let's go. No crunch! I'm having a crunch. Come on, I've, I haven't had crunch for weeks. I'm owed a bunch from previous casts. I completed, what did we play before this game? Tomb Raider, right? Was that the game before? It felt like, it feels like years ago. What do you mean, whoa? Oh yeah, please press three. True. Longfellow, I didn't have crunch for like weeks. We were banking them. Charlie's got it all notated. I'm sure I got plenty in the bank. I had a bunch of good days in MLB. We didn't have crunch. Dude, I got so many in the bank. It's ridiculous. All right, let's save it right here before we get thrown out again. All right, so Tuesday... And yo money. Yo money start. Right, let's do this. I think the service charges wiped those out. Wow. Yeah. The crunch account. I didn't want? know it charged excess servicing fees. Alright, show my badge. Hello, I'm Detective Carey, Homicide LAPD. I'm Where's your neck, with your money. Is he available? Is he available? Yo! Is Yo Money available? I need to speak with him. Come on yeah, in. he says it's Yo so Money's weird. The one to talk to you. Homo side. Oh, now we gotta deal with this crazy. Well, lady. look who's here. Our rep. Do you have it. any? Do you I have any? It. I, I think you people. This is such. <laughs> I wish I could do this with certain conversations with people. <laughs> Just click through the. <laughs> It's like that movie, uh, <coughs> I know Pig's never seen this. It's like that Adam Sandler movie, uh, Remote, or whatever it is, where he starts fast-forwarding through parts of his life, and then they auto-fast-forward those parts, and you're like, you have nothing left to live, basically. Please calm down, miss. I'm here to discuss the situation. <laughs> oh, yeah? Exactly, Spud. Well, then, let's hear it. Sounds great, must get around to watching this. I thought it was okay, I thought it was okay. It's a touching movie at the end, it teaches you to not waste moments in life and stuff. Aw oh, man. Hello? What do you want? Not this crap, oh yeah? Alright, let's get through this. Let's talk I'm to Detective you, John Carey, LAPD Homicide. Yo, suck. Money, that phone call. It's under control. All right, dead body. Let's 
Let's go the other way, just in case the guy throws us out. Because that answer to that question is worthless. They all found him great. Do you have any enemies, buddy? Money, your music is controversial. Points for that. Do you know of anyone who would want to harm your reputation further? <laughs> Shit, man. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> got enemies. Ain't no different with me. I feel like I'm watching Well, have you recently experienced Shit. any problems through the mail, telephone calls? There's this Nazi dude. Doesn't like to see a brother <laughs> doing Hope well. Is. Send me shit in the mail. Buy your boat for Asshole. His name is Walker. Dennis Walker. Dennis Walker. Dennis Walker. Okay. Alright. That's something. Dennis Walker. What can you tell me about this Dennis Walker? He's a racist asshole. Racist. For a while, he was driving by, okay. hollering shit at my house. I got a restraining order. I still get shit in the mail. Ends up in the trash. Yo, man, he was arrested for trespassing on my property a while ago. Okay. <laughs> shit. He's a boil the system, on a man. pig, but... Oh, sorry, man. No insult intended. <laughs> None taken. All right, let's see if we can write this stuff down before we get thrown out. Yeah. I told you to quit calling us. Right, listen, stop. listen. Do you understand? You quit calling us. Detective Kerry, wait on note taking. You don't want to alarm this guy. This woman has not provided a shred of that <laughs> money. That phone call. It's under control. If you remember anything out of the ordinary that happened the night the body was found, please call me at Parker Center. Just ask for robbery homicide. I guess we weren't supposed to ask him about the other things. We only cared about his enemy list. If you remember anything... Right, four, five, oh. I couldn't help but notice... This is personal. I'd like to ask... I have nothing to... Right, so she's not going to talk to us. Alright, what about this guy? Can we talk to this guy? Come on. Where you at, buddy? The man is guarding his boss. Talk to him when he's not so busy. Alright, I think we're done. Yeah, what you're doing is... Listen, we don't... Do you think I can... Major expensive couch. It's ultra suede. Ultra suede? Looks like a crappy couch. That's a horrible pattern. Play Wait, what man. is that? Booty bake. My baby shug shugs. 26 million sold. 1993. Rubba dub dub a do. 20 million sold. 1991. This guy's a rap god. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, is there anything else we need to do? Um, it won't let us take notes. Does he want a candy bar? Carrie, you can't afford the calories. No, not him, not me, him. Though your gesture is generous, it's probably not too professional. Okay, how about her? What's up with you? Some new LAPD policy? Well, no thanks. Hey, you heard the man, it's time to leave. Let's go. All right, I think we're out now. Okay. All right, can we take notes now, or? What is it about, what is it you wish to notate? Okay, I what guess is not. it you I wish guess, to... I guess not. Maybe can I go this way? So now we got a lead on Dennis Walker, a racist. <laughs> oh, that's right, the dog one. Let's go that way. Uh, we can probably also go to the corner for uh, the dead cop's body and talk to that creepy corner guy. And there's no... The body outline of Officer Rene Garcia. Do we want to pick up, like, this stuff? Leave the tape and... Alright, I was just trying to help. I was just trying to help. Alright, let's get out of here. Um... I don't know where we go. Let's go to the morgue, maybe? I'm thinking the morgue. Alright, let's do some saving. Alright, 
Tuesday morgue. Hi, Sherry. Entering the morgue always provides a sense of anticipation. You're a sick bastard, John. Hi, Detective Carey. Hi, Sherry. Sorry, I'm trying to get my mouse proper. Oop, there we go. Hi, Sherry. Hello, Sherry. Oh, I gotta show her my badge. I forgot, I forgot. You can go on in, Detective Carey. Thanks. Hello, Detective Carey. He's back. Should we ask him for some jokes? What do you call two guys with no arms and no legs hanging in a window? Oh, I, we heard this one. What did he call him? I forget. I don't know. Kurt and Rod. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kurt and Rod. <laughs> oh, God, this guy. This guy's ridiculous. Go right in, detective. Thank you. Is there no personal belongings for this guy? This is the waste. Right, maybe he's working on them or something. I don't know. All right, let's go talk to the the coroner. Oh, I think he's just done. This guy's lively. Hello, John. <laughs> John Hello, John. Hello, John. Chester and me at the shortstop tonight. I'll buy you a cold one. Ooh. And you look like you could use it. I could. I hope the shortstop shows up on our map at some point. Right, let's talk. Thanks, to Sam. It sounds good. I'll try and make it. Uh, Officer Garcia. Sam, what can you tell me about Garcia? Just about anything you want to know pertaining to how he was killed. The who and the why are up to you. Alright, so I'm just making some notes. Dead body on Yo Money uh, was Officer Garcia. I'm trying to keep all these people straight. Wow. Uh, all right, Garcia's autopsy. Has the autopsy been performed? Was it tortured and stuff? Yes, it has, John. Garcia was tortured the same as Hickman. Injection marks in the upper left arm, irregular cigarette burns to the face and upper torso. All right, we got a pattern Missing here. extremities, this time toes. We got Blued a cop orifice, killer. This a time the mouth, and a ruptured gastrointestinal lining. Your killer is getting more brazen, John. Garcia was able to watch as he was tortured. He could not utter a sound, but he could witness his slow death. Oh no, so he left the eyes open, but he removed like the tongue or something or whatever. Shane did it. In your opinion, Sam, what's the cause of death? I have to believe it's poison, although there are none of the telltale signs one expects to find, such as colored sputum, vomit, or odor. We odor. might be dealing with something we do not yet have a test for. So it's a new one. This guy made it up. Uh, his cause is now his lividity. Was there lividity on Garcia? Yes. Once again, there was primary and secondary lividity. Right, so sitting primary again. Primary was located on the buttocks, secondary on the upper back and shoulders. I would venture to say that Garcia was tortured and killed while sitting up, left for a while, and then so moved. Exactly the same as him. Your killer has transportation, John. He could strike anywhere. Thanks. Let the investing, let the detecting, leave it to us. Okay, buddy? Sam, what are the distinguishing physical marks? The body had restraint marks on the wrists and ankles. Same I was able to lift fibers from these areas. I sent them over to SID for analysis. There were bruises behind the shoulder blades that lead me to believe Garcia's arms were tied over his head. Okay. All right. All right. That's interesting. That's something new. Let's take notes. Sam Nobles is a walking encyclopedia of information. Nice. Thanks, Sam. You rock, dude. Uh, we're good, man. Something else. Oh, no. We got other things. Oh, crap. Oh, God. We're not done. So that was all in his has the autopsy, autopsy been... Yes, it has. Your killer is... All right. So that was all in the autopsy. All right. Something else. Now it's toxicology. How about a toxicology report, Sam? Body fluids were taken and sent to SID. They're running every poison test known to the scientific community. 
Okay. About burn marks? The burn marks. They're consistent with a cigarette burn? Yes. I was able to lift ash samples out of the burned skin. I sent them to SID for analysis. Oh, SID's got a lot of work to do. Fibers? What about fibers or hairs, Sam? As with Hickman, there were fibers at restraint points. However, I found additional fibers and ash in the hair. The fibers were red, and I would venture to say the ash came from cigarettes. Both samples have been sent to SID for okay. analysis. Wearing a red sweater, maybe? Uh, anything else? Is there anything else, Sam? Well, yes. Neither Hickman nor Garcia had food residue left in what once was their stomachs. I said I didn't eat That's rare. There's almost always residue. I might mention to you that Garcia's mother came down to claim the body and pick up any personal effects. Ah, uh, okay. Apparently, no one had mentioned that her son was found naked. Oh. When I told her, and that consequently there were no personal effects to speak of, she went ballistic. A word of warning, John, I think she's gunning for you next. Oh, what? I didn't do anything! Uh, something else. No more questions. All right, now let's take full notes. You've now. already notated the information from Sam. Okay, just making sure we had new stuff. Um, all right, nothing else in here. I think we're out of here. Let's save it here. Save. Uh, morgue. Coroner. Just gonna be very judicious with our saves. All right, let's get out of here. Corner sounds like a reject from the Speak and Spell voice tryouts. <laughs> speak and Spell. Showing your age there, Vic. <laughs> Aren't they, like, way back from our deck? Do they still... I, they probably still make Speak and Spell. Although they're probably just iPads now. <laughs> just give a kid an iPad. It'll do everything. Speak and spell, it's a etch a sketch, it's a whiteboard for drawing, it's everything now. Your sister had a speak and spell, you remember using it? Speak and spell was great, man. And then the one, uh, the pull one that had like animals and stuff on it, and you would pull it and it would spin, and then it would land on an animal, and the voice would be like, this is a pig. A pig goes oink oink or something like that. This is a cow. A cow goes boo. I love that stuff. That stuff was great. That was high tech back then. You open the door and head to the lobby. Uh, also did a lot of the viewfinder. You know the 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 little film wheel wheel thingies. <laughs> the monkey noise. Yeah, the noises of the animals were great. Uh, see you later, Sherry. Goodbye, and have a nice day, Detective Carey. Uh, what was also big? Light Bright was huge. Light Bright was awesome. Yeah, Light Bright was great. Until you broke it. You spin it, it lands on a pig, and it says, the pig says, hello. <laughs> oh, you guys didn't have light brights? Oh, light brights were great. All right, let's take a look at the map. So we're at the corner. Go back to Hickman's house. That doesn't seem helpful. Uh, I think, so I don't think we go back to G Yo Money. Hickman's house doesn't seem helpful. Police Academy is not till tomorrow. The morgue we're at. Parker Center we're at. So I think we're going to go back here. Just walk around. See if there's anything new. Maybe people to talk to. And then we'll go back to Parker Center. We do have some stuff to talk. Or like check up with SID about stuff. Oh, now we're just parking out at the front. Okay, alright. Let's go this way. At Spiregrass, oh yeah, we did a lot of sand art as well, uh, which is what you might be talking to. The because we had it both where you put the pen in and spun it around with a pen, and then you could buy the little things that it made the sand art, and then you would seal it and stuff. Um, oh, we also did a lot of shrinky dinks. <laughs> 
If you've never seen a Shrinky Dink, oh man, you missed out. You missed out. Yeah, sand arts. You would do it with sand, and then you would you would uh, plate it with uh, glass and stuff, and then it would be like a, a picture. Yeah, exactly. So, yep, 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 yep. Although it was colored sand, it was all the colored sand we couldn't use in the pyramids because they wanted them all uh, brown. <laughs> they wanted them sand colored. Stupid pharaohs. Didn't know we could have made them colorful. Alright, drunk dude's not here. Let's see if we can go in the old store. Maybe we can buy more glue to huff and another apple. Okay. Uh, want some glue? You drug addict? I monitor glue. I want no more police trouble. Wow. No more No more glue. <laughs> She's cutting us off, boys. No more glue. <laughs> Can I get another apple? That apple for my friend, not for sale. Oh, all right. You know help. <laughs> Don't want no trouble. She does. She thinks we're huffing. She thinks we're a, we're a cop who's huffing. I wasn't expecting anything to be here, but you never know. Go down and check out uh, Miss Washington. See if she's sitting on her stoop. Oh, now the kid's there, too. She want to talk or anything? Hello, Mrs. Washington. We over our Detective Carey, children's hello. Death. It's a new day. We over our kid's death or what? How are you today, Mrs. Washington? A little down, detective. <laughs> no shit, really. How are you today, Mrs. Wa A little down. All right, how are you doing? Hello, Lysandra. Do you want to know a secret? <laughs> yeah. I see a real pretty lady in the alley. I seen her when my brother was dead. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait what? Ladies' activity. Why didn't you tell us this yesterday, Lysandra? We gave you a friggin' apple. What was this lady doing, Lysandra? She was smoking. Oh, that was the cigarette by the body with the lipstick on it. Lysandra, what did this lady look like? She was pretty. That's... And she had pretty clothes. It's not helpful, Lysandra. Not really. I mean, we're a lonely single guy. Everybody's pretty to us. <laughs> what was she wearing, Lysandra? For fuck's sake, Lysandra. Red dress. <laughs> what was she wearing, Lysandra? I didn't even hear the answer. A pretty red dress. Okay, red dress. All right. Was she a hooker? <laughs> The information about the woman in red might be important, if it's true. Yeah, that's why I'm taking notes of it. The information about... What is it you wish to... The information about the woman in red might be important, if it's true. Are you trying to say it's not true? How do I prove it's true? All right. Thanks, Lysandra. You could have told us all this yesterday, but thanks, girl. Uh, there's nothing else. No more questions. Mrs. Take Washington, money. if Did there's take anything money, the girl, department cigarette? or I can yeah, do, Yeah, we please circled call. it. SID took it. Yeah, there's we circled it. There's nothing anybody can do. Nobody can Remember, bring we don't touch home. evidence in this game. SID takes care of all that. Uh, except for stuff we find, you know, at, at other places we have to check into them. But they take care of crime scene stuff. All right, well, that was actually useful. So where do we find this... Hot chick in the red dress, man. For multiple reasons. <laughs> John's got to get his rocks off. No from the ashtray. Oh. Uh, oh, my God. She's wearing a red dress. She was not hot, though. I didn't even think of her. She is not hot. 
No way is she hot, dude. No way. <laughs> I didn't think of her because she wasn't pretty. <laughs> Come on, dude. Go through. There you go. Alright, good caught. Good catch, Pig. Good catch. This is like a year after Rodney T King. Get, get your gun out, detective. Well, this. Come on, what are you doing? Where are you going, dude? There you go. I just want to get back to my car. Uh, yeah, John only thinks with his penis. Well, the problem was, is the girl said she's pretty, and John immediately put his sense of what pretty is, and the the chick from the Ch Yo Money house fell out. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to G Money's house. I don't think we're gonna, are we gonna get back in? We'll see if we can get back in. No, I, I'm playing as John Kerry. This is all John Kerry. This isn't me. Don't you talk about somebody? Every game I play, we're playing as that character. He says Kerry. It's spelled with a C. A R E Y. What do you want? But he says John Kerry. <laughs> this is before he ran for office. Uh, I'd like to talk to Joe Money. We're not talking about the same John Kerry, I know. But yeah, but he's a busy man. Make it quick. Okay. I need that cigarette out of the thing. I gotta get it when she's on a phone call, maybe. Hello, Money. Hey, Sorry buddy. to intrude. <laughs> Love how we're on Yo, like first man, name basis. What's your business? If you remember anything out of the ordinary that happened the night the body was found, please call me at Parker Center. Just ask for robbery homicide. Ten four five zero. Oh. Ten four five zero. Oh. I'd like to ask. I have nothing to say to you. The ashtray is full of half-smoked, lipstick-stained cigarette butts. People are watching. Yeah, I need her to get a call. I'd like to ask... I have nothing to say to you. Did I miss it? Like, we have no chance now? If you remember anything out of the ordinary that happened the night the body was found, please call me at Parker Center. Just ask for robbery homicide. 10450. Do we miss our chance? How do we get her not to look? What you see is. This woman is very pretty. Too bad she smokes. From Money's front window, you could almost see the ocean. Leave it closed. The Leave it closed. Dang on the phone. Leave it closed. Danny D's watching you. How do we get him to move? How do we get him to move? Do we have to reload? I didn't want to leave. Yeah, you want something? Yeah, I know you're a cop. What do you want? I want to talk to Yo Money. Yo Money's busy. You want to see him, you'll have to come back. Oh, damn. Damn! Alright. Damn! Throw a fart in your face? Wow, that's a little aggressive. Uh, I don't know. Do we... That's back on day one, right? No. No, it's... Yeah, it is. No, it started day two. Wait a minute, where are we? Hold on, the store. It would be right back. Actually, it's just before the morgue. Maybe we will go back. I think we have to. We're going to need that, right? We're going to tie... She was definitely there, right? That's the only way we can tie her to the scene. We have to have that cigarette. All right, so we're going to stop it there. We're right about time. A little after uh, we usually stop. I know it's a little shorter cast tonight. I apologize. Uh, but my dinner comes first. Sorry. And it was yummy. Um, but we're going to stop it there when, uh, this is for Future Circle, if he watches this, I'll probably remember though, 
Uh, we need to go back a little bit to Yo Money Start. We need to get that cigarette when she's on the phone. Um, then we can go do the morgue um, and talk to the coroner. Coroner, And then uh, I don't know what we do. After. Then we can probably go to like SID and stuff like that. So we'll figure it out. Um, slowly working through this. We're on day two. Uh, I have no idea how many days there are. It's Tuesday, though. So I'm guessing it's probably like a week. Maybe maybe we play till Friday or something. Maybe Saturday. Maybe next Sunday. We started on Monday, right? I don't know. Maybe it's like a week. Because um, the other games were only a few days, too. Like, Police Quest 3 was like six days, I think. Um, so anyway, we got a bunch of days. We'll be definitely playing it all week. Um, thanks, everyone. Thanks, Long, Spud, Volpez, Pig. I appreciate anyone else lurking. Uh, I do appreciate it. I'll be back tomorrow. More Police Quest. Thursday, more Police Quest. Friday, we'll see what's going on. And then Saturday, we'll see what's going on. Friday and Saturday, up in the air. We'll see if we can make them both multiplayer nights. Uh, Friday being more just jovial fun. Saturday night being drunken ridiculousness. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, thanks, everyone. Have a great rest of your night. And I'll see you tomorrow. More Police Quest. Bye-bye, everybody. Happy gaming.